welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a cut crease look. I'm thinking pink, but we'll see. So let's get to it. First things first, I like to hydrate my lips while I'm getting ready. So I'm going to use this Hemp's Lip Gloss. I got it at Cosmoprof, but I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of sounds. I'm just going to put this on to hydrate. Next, I'm going to get my Beauty Blenders damp. Yeah. Next, you'll just want to prep your face using the Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen. It's weightless face. Not bad. So I only use about this much. I'm just going to use it like a moisturizer. It is moisturizing. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Pores Putty Primer as usual and just going to put it so I'm just going to rub that in. And I saw in somebody else's makeup video that patting the primer into your pores helps so that it's like filling them so they're not showing up even more. So I've been trying that. To be honest, I don't really notice a difference, but maybe I should pay more attention. Yeah. Don't mind the bangs. Had to bobby bend them out of my face so I can start doing my fun. For foundation, as usual, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild for the Focus Foundation. I mix two different shades, which is the Matte Original and the Bronze Beige. I place a little bit, well, I only place one little dab of the dark one. And then I do both sides of the applicator for the light one. And I blend it on my hand. Also, these are only like five dollars, so and they're full coverage, so I love them. Next, I will be patting the foundation into my face. Patty, hence the word patty. Emphasis on the word patty. You don't want to smear it on your face. You want to pat it into your face. Okay, that was ugly. I do have on my eyelids. So I don't know if you're really shiny, I don't know if you can really tell, but I hate that. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy elf brush. And then I am just going to lightly go in with my e.l.f. HD Perfect Finish Powder. And I'm going to kind of avoid the places where I'm going to put the concealer anyway. But the rest of my face, I'm just kind of trying to like mat it out. So I don't want it to be a shiny. Next is concealer, and I'm going to go in with the Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer as usual. I did get a lighter shade finally. And then I'll apply a triangle each my eyes, my under eyes. Can't talk today. Little line or two lines. The V line in the forehead, like this, and then I will pull them out of it with my beauty blender, patty. Next, I'll be going back in with the Elf HD Perfect Finish Powder. I can't say it. I don't know why this looks like this. I guess not all of it got on 
and then I'm just gonna pat it first on where I put the concealer. I'll pat it. And then the second one. I can't get ready without music, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted. I'll just turn it down and talk loud. Got it? Let's see if this works. Okay, so now that I have my face all baked, I'm gonna go in with Physician's Formula. Butter bronzer, my favorite. It smells so good. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that excess powder on my face while I bronze. Sorry, I should've been prepared for this part. Okay, so I'm gonna use this fluffy beige. And for this, I mean, I don't know if this is considered contouring, honestly. I should probably look into that and I probably should be educated on that. But I don't know if contouring is only like harsh, like when you use like a contour stick, but I just blend it right there. Then I'm going to bring it up, blend it into my hairline around my forehead. And then I will also blend it down. And I'll do that on both sides of my face. So with the bronzer, this is what it kind of looks like. I think I'm going to blend it a little bit more. Um, make sure that you're also blending it into your neck so that your face doesn't look like a completely different color than your neck. Uh, coming on my TikTok, which I did a cut crease look, she commented saying, did you forget to blend? I'm sorry, like, I'm not really sure what you're talking about because in a cut crease, you don't blend the crease with the rest of it. And, like, my contour, maybe that's what she's talking about. But, first of all, I have filter on, so it looks a lot crazier. And, like, it was the G6 one, you know, everybody does the G6 with the backflash and the bling. That's what I did. What? I don't understand girls that think that they need to be mean to other girls. Like, why did you feel the need to comment on somebody's video that you don't even know with negativity and make them feel bad about it? Because the only reason I made those TikToks was because I was feeling myself and then you had to bring me back down to zero. Like, girls like that, you suck. Anyway, sorry about that. So, um, then I'm going to use this little one and then I'm just going to reiterate this little fine line. Under my bronzer. Oh, there we go. So next I'm gonna do blush, which I'm actually gonna check the shade for you today in my ColourPop Build Your Own Palette. So this is my blush, um, my favorite, and it is called Above and Beyond, if anybody's wondering. And they just magnet in the palette, it's pretty cute. And for blush, I just blend it right above my bronzer. And just almost like I blend it with the bronzer, like right where the bronzer starts, if that makes sense. Um, so then I also do like to take it into my cheeks so it looks a little bit like I'm sun-kissed. And I do blend it up into my hairline. I'm gonna take it over my nose a little. Fucking mighty, dude. Need to be Maybe rich already. I'm just playing. I'm not that good. Yeah. Hopefully someday. Love yeah. And don't think I forgot about that excess finishing powder that's been sitting there. So I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to quickly take all that extra, extra, excess powder off. All good. Next, I will be doing highlights, so I'm gonna first going with a fan brush and then my Ofra Madison Miller Sea Shimmer Highlight. This is my old time favorite. And I do kind of angle it up around. Ooh, look at you. Same on the other side. And for the more precise highlighter, I use this little smudgy brush. It's a Harry Potter one. My grandma got me a little pack of Harry Potter brushes. 
there's my little nose highlight, and then I'm gonna skip kind of over where I put the blush, and then do a line of highlight on my, the bridge of my nose, is that what you would call it? I don't know, and then Cupid's bow, very important. Also, I have been lately going back in with the fan brush and just putting a little bit on my chin, and I don't know why, so. Mm -hmm. Look at that Cupid's bow highlight. Mm. Well, next time, oh! Okay, I had to find something else to put my phone on. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and shade Dark Brown with my Anastasia Angel Sided. It says something about it being two sided on the website. So, so first, I just. Uh, ah! Okay. One. Underline the brow. Do you guys see it? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, so underline the whole brow. And you're gonna outline the above. Oh, forgot my little. Then I will fill in the. So, make a pack. I want a cat eye eyeshadow shape. <clears throat> so, I'm going use some clear tape and angle it how I want it. If you do your foundation before you do your eyes, um, make sure that you don't press it too hard because the tape sometimes will take your foundation off and leave the tape on. Um, also, just make sure that you're getting it even on both sides. You see, I think we're pretty close to even. So first I'm going to go in with this Ace Beauty, um, I did get this in my boxy charm, and I'm going to go in with this Lotus shade right here, oh, my light is, yeah, Lotus right there, and I am going to blend it from where I have my tape out of. and kind of, this is going to be like my widest color besides once I cut the crease. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just going above the crease, following the chain. Cute, okay. Next, I'm going to use the same palette, but I'm going to go in with shade Bahamas over here, and I'm just going to put this literally right in the crease. So we're gonna go in with my foundation again. And we're gonna go across my lash line with the concealer. This is the only way I know how to do a cut crease. So then, look up. Down. Oh, it cut my crease for me. All right, there. You can use your hand on You're wrong, you're wrong, cut keep crease, you're wrong. So next I'm gonna go in with the white, well this is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, volume two, and I'm just gonna go in with this white shimmer color. And I'm gonna put it where I cut my crease. So I'm just gonna kind of be I think I have to do a white liner with this. So I'm gonna go in with my white waterproof NYX Epic Wear Liner. First things first, I'm gonna create my line. Okay, line is created. 
other eye line. So next, I'm going to start on the outer corner of my line and drag it in. That's the only thing I don't like about this eyeliner is that it's like a, like a paintbrush so it gets all over my lashes. And then once I get about halfway, I go in from the inner corner and do it. So. And then I'll do the other eye. And I really recommend, recommend, recommend wiping off the eyeliner off your lashes because otherwise the white will definitely show like under your strips. <gasps> I'll have to fix this now. So now I'm just gonna go in and fill the liner. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna try, try to do the little cat eye in the corner thing because I think that looks so pretty with this but I don't know if I'll be able to do it especially on the camera mm. yeah right on my lashes beautiful beautiful here's like how I need Hate the brush. Okay, ladies, I didn't fail. Now it's time to put some mascara on and then the lashes. The mascara that I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. I will be using the duo white and blue lash glue and first I just line the lash and just burn it out. You don't want too much on the lash. So it's just lightly aligned and I'm going to blow on it a few times. They stick best when they're a little bit tacky, that's why. And then I'm just gonna stick it on, starting in the outer corner. Now with the highlighter, I am going to use this little flatter brush and I'm just going to like literally make a line and it just leaves a cute little highlight. me in this flat brush and I'm going to go under my eye with it and kind of meet up with the white liner but don't go past it okay and I've never tried this but it sounded like a really cute idea especially with this white you know fluffy doll look so I'm gonna go in with my NYX skinny eye marker and I'm just going to put a few little lines like it's my lashes. I mean, did it kind of work? Yeah, kind of. 
You know what? I'm not living for either the NYX Epic Wear or the NYX Skinny Eye Marker. So I'm going to go in with my Epic Ink Liner next and try it with that because that marker was just poop. Better. Okay, well that's a bit more dramatic than I thought, so I am going to put on some white liner on my tear line. So this white pencil. So I'm gonna go in with this Academy of Color lip liner. It's just like a rose pink. I'm gonna line my lips with it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Elf matte lip color. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but this is my favorite. You need to go back in with the highlighter and redo your Cupid's bow. Cupid's bow, after that. Don't mind my weird music. And then set your makeup, sweetie. This is all I have to set my makeup. I really want that more of a Jeffree Star one, though. I heard it's really good and it smells good. So thank you guys for watching. I'll give you a close up. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. Leave me some feedback down below. Like, subscribe, and follow my social media.